Deuteronomy 18, 18 through 22 I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, and will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. And if thou say in thine heart, How shall we know the word which the Lord hath not spoken? When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken. But the prophet hath spoken it presumptuously. Thou shalt not be afraid of him. In my last video, I said that I would go through these passages and explain them. This one is pretty self-explanatory. Anyone who tries to tell you the future in the name of anyone other than God is a false prophet. This includes witches, warlocks, psychics, tarot card readers, and astrologers. All these are following false gods and work with demons and familiar spirits against the command of God. They cannot be trusted. Even those who tell the future in the name of God or Jesus or Yeshua, now that people are using that, if that thing doesn't actually happen, that person has not been given a message from God and should not be trusted. Matthew seven fifteen through 20 Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. The fruit of the Spirit is contrasted against the works of the flesh in Galatians 5, 19-23. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. James 3.13-18 Who is a wise man and endowed with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. But if ye have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, glory not, and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. To discern whether a person is someone you can trust to teach you and lead you or not, look at their fruit. False prophets will not have the fruit of righteousness in their lives or in their words. 1 John 2.18-25 Little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. They went out from us, but they were not of us, for if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it, and that no lie is of the truth. 
Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father. But he that acknowledgeth the Son hath the Father also. Let that therefore abide in you which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he hath promised us, even eternal life. The spirit of Antichrist cannot confess the full nature of God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This deals with the Trinity. I have a series of videos that explain the Trinity, why I believe this is truth, what it is, and what it means, why teaching against it is also a denial of the true nature of God, and what false teachings come out of denying Trinity. I will share that playlist in the end screen. For now, let me just say that denying Trinity is a denial of both Father and Son. At best, this is confusion about the nature of God because His nature is hard to understand and comprehend. At worst, it's an Antichrist spirit. In either case, this teaching cannot be trusted. First John 4, 1-3 Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby ye know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God, and every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. I missed this one in my list on the last video, so I'll go over it here. There are those who teach and believe that Jesus was never a flesh and blood man, but only a spirit, which is how and why he was able to work miracles and pass through violent mobs unharmed. The Bible clearly states that many people did touch Jesus physically. Even after his resurrection, Jesus let his disciples touch him, saying in Luke 24, 39, Behold, my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit hath not flesh and bones as ye see me have. His coming and his resurrection both were in the flesh. Those who teach otherwise are denying the true nature of Jesus. And again, this is an Antichrist spirit, which is denying the Son. Galatians 1, 6 through 9 I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that calleth you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you, and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. Study the New Testament to learn what the Bible says about Jesus, especially Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Those who teach things about Jesus that are not in agreement with the Bible are false teachers and are not to be trusted. They bring down a curse on themselves. Don't follow them or spread their teachings and go down with them. The gospel of Jesus Christ, who Jesus is, what he taught, his true nature as God in flesh, that he came in the flesh, died on the cross for our sins, rose from the dead and conquered sin and death for us, that he is in heaven now, seated at the right hand of the Father, and that he is with those who put their trust in him, is all made abundantly clear in Scripture. He is also the only way to go to the Father, and no one can enter heaven except through Him. You need a relationship with Him. That starts with repentance of sin, turning away from it, and turning to Jesus for forgiveness and salvation. That starts with a simple little prayer like this. 
Dear Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and that you rose again the third day. I repent of my sins, so please forgive me for my sins and come into my heart and be Lord of my life. Help me overcome sin in my life and live for you, so I will have joy when I see your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Get a Bible and start reading it to learn more of His will, so you can live out His holiness in your life. If you have ever wished you could read the story of Jesus' life from all four Gospels chronologically, you might like Emmanuel by April Marie. You can check it out at any of these websites, also included in the video description. Thank you for watching. May you know and follow the truth of the Gospel.